Hey guys, Wednesday's workout is Macho Macho Taco. Uh, it is a take on a uh, common benchmark workout called Macho Man. We're actually gonna have rounds of Macho Man in this workout today. Your workout is five rounds. Each round is three minutes long. You're trying to do as much work as you possibly can in that three minute window, followed by a minute of rest. Okay, so you do three minutes of work, one minute rest, three minutes of work, one minute rest, three minutes of work, one minute of rest for five rounds there. Okay, uh, you're gonna start every round with some kind of jump rope, either 60 double unders if you have it, 90 single unders if you don't. Uh, if you don't have a jump rope at all, you're gonna be either doing those lateral line hops or you're gonna be doing those single or double taps, whatever kind of motion you can do. We're looking for some kind of jumping motion there. Followed by either 20 jumping lunges when we touch that back on the ground, front shin stays nice and vertical as you come up. You're gonna pop and switch feet midair, receive the body in that split position, lower that knee, and go again. You'll do either 20 of these, or we'll probably modify your reps down for reverse lunges. It takes a little bit longer to get through reverse lunges than it does jumping lunges. So we'll play around with those numbers for you. But once you get all through that jumping portion, that high intensity stuff, we're gonna now go and switch over to the weightlifting aspect. And we're gonna try and am wrap or do as many rounds and reps as possible in the remaining time that you have in that three minute window of Macho Man. And Macho Man is three power cleans, three front squats, and three push jerks. We're gonna be doing it with one dumbbell, assuming that's all you have. If you have a kettlebell, we'll give you a different version. If you have a barbell or some kind of odd object, it might change up for you. But if you have a dumbbell and that's all you have, we're gonna ask that you do the 333 on one arm before switching arms. So it'll look something like this. I'll do three power cleans, drive the dumbbell up to my shoulder, receive it, stand all the way up. I'll lower it back down so that both heads touch the floor. Go again. And the third time, followed by three front squats, making sure you get that hip crease below the knee at the bottom. Keep those feet nice and flat. Stand all the way up. And then we're gonna finish with three push jerks. Essentially shoulder overhead. I wanna make sure it's heavy enough that you cannot just press it like I just did so that you have to at least push press or push jerk the weight, okay? Once you've done three all on that one arm, you'll switch to the other arm and you'll start cranking through your power cleans on the opposite hand, your front squats on the opposite hand, and your push jerks on that opposite nail arm as well. You're gonna crank through as many rounds as you can get of that in the remaining time, rest a minute, do it again, all through that, the whole thing again. Um, so speed is the name of the game here. Knowing that you have a minute of rest, you want to try and go as fast as you can. Here's the caveat to this workout. Hopefully you've been listening to this video long enough because you're going to actually be scored on your slowest round today. So, maybe go a little bit slower than you normally would in that first round and make that your slowest round and then make sure every round after that is a little bit faster than your first. That's the name of the game. There's plenty of other strategies out there. But that's the one I would choose for you questions, talk to your coach. Make it a great Wednesday, guys. Get after it.